Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking Yessie 77 again for the third video, third video today. Why I'm doing a video today, you ask? Well, I have another pipe dark review for you guys, okay? So let's do it. Okay, I hardly do any, I hardly ever do three videos in a day, but I decided to do three videos in a day this day because I have a pipe dark review for you guys. Okay, we have we have Hearth and Home House of Lords. Okay, this is another uh, pipe dark review, and I've had six bowls so far of this tobacco. Okay, this tobacco contains Latakia, Oriental, Turkish, and Virginia. So it is a English blend, quote, English blend. It is listed as a mild to medium English blend. English blend. And let's have a smell. Very smoky. Very rich. Very charcoaly. Very, um, smoky. This is what it looks like. It's pretty dried out right now, but um, it's still smokable. Anyway, let's do the review. Okay, strength-wise, nicotine-wise. I would say the nicotine hottest blend is probably mild. I eat no strength, no buzz, just your general nicotine feeling, which is typical of English blends, not IKEA blends. The body of this tobacco. I would say it's a good medium, medium to full. It's actually much stronger than I expected. It's listed as a mild to medium on PythonCRs.com, but I would say it's probably a good mean to mean to full. It's um, smoky, spicy, very, um, just smoky and spicy in general. Um, you get a very um, smoky, spicy taste. So, the flavor. There's no flavors, there's no additives, no murants. Just pure tobacco, just pure unflavored tobacco. And when I say that, when I say um, no additives or murants, that means there's no added flavorings like apple or chocolate to it. Just as just natural pure tobacco. Anyway, the um, room note how it smells non-smokers. This won't smell appealing. Unfortunately, like I always say, anything with a lot of Kia, any English blend, will not smell appealing to non-smokers. Just the smell of a lot of Kia, most non-smokers don't like that. And there are people out there who just say I hit smell smoke period. The tongue bite is tobacco. No tongue bite whatsoever, which is good. The retrohaling where you retrohale is tobacco through your nose. Same basic flavors, smoky, spicy, Latakia taste, that charcoal campfire taste. It is not tremendously strong, but you do get um, a good sensation through your nose. Would it suggest recommend to a pipe smoker or a pipe smoker? Yes. If you like Latakia blends, English blends, blends of Latakia, you're going to love this blend. If you are a strict aromatic smoker, strict Virginia vapor smoker, or strict Burley smoker, you probably won't like this. To like this blend, you really have to like a lot of Kia blends, English blends. So, this is a good uh, medium-bodied English blend, a lot of Kia blend. Um, not strong, not ter terribly strong, not like, you know, oh my god, in your face, like, poof, like that, you know. But not mild either. I mean, not like, um, you can barely taste it. There's a good amount of taste there, a good amount of body there. So, it is um, a good medium-bodied lot of Kia English blend. So, smoky, spicy, burns very nice. But like all hard home tobaccos, burns very fast, so not a very long smoke. Anyway, give your thought. I mean, um, overall rating, I haven't rated this tobacco yet. Um, I give House of the Lords out of ten, probably, hmm, uh, probably about an eight out of ten. It's good. I wish it was a little bit more moist than a ten, and I also wish um, it lasted a bit longer. But that's typical of hard and home blends. So House of the Lords. We'll get an A out of 10 for rating, which is a B or B minus in my book. Anyway, give me your thoughts, comment, rate, subscribe, press my, press my message if you want to. And be sure and bye.